Now, the interesting thing about the Chrysler CAN systems, unlike the GM and Ford and the other ones, if you want key on engine off and you put your lab scope on pin 6 and 14, there's no voltage activity whatsoever. So what they're doing, they're paralleling basically what they did on the previous SCI circuits. You have to have a scan tool plugged in. You have to request something. The tip in module sees the request from the scan tool, again, off pin 6 and 14. And then a tip-in module relays the data to your 16-pin DLC so that your scan tool can read the data. Now, if you look at my schematic on the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of what we call the non-essential modules on a 2R Class B network. The Class B network dead ends at the tip-in module. Again, remember the tip-in module is a gateway. There are no CAN-B terminals at your 16-pin DLC. So all the data from the modules on the Class B network and all the data on the Class C network dead end at the tip and module. The tip and module obviously reads those voltage toggles, reads that data, and sends everything out to the 16-pin DLC on pins 6 and 14.